Hello guys, this is the Bold and the Beautiful Review. Okay, so we're going to start with the boring stuff. Of course, Bill and Katie, I just didn't get why they were on two of the five episodes. Like we have five episodes in a week. Why were they on? What for? Like, I'm sorry. We've got an 18-minute show. How come we have time for Bill and Katie? Let's have sex on the counter. Let's go to bed. Let's do it everywhere. I'm just like, okay, nice. Uh, y'all are cute, but I mean, I don't need to see y'all. Sorry. Like, I need them to be involved in their children's lives a little bit, not too much. Or I need them to do things. I, I mean, I'm not against seeing them and seeing their relationship, how it progresses, but I just feel like they need to be doing other things too. Where's the business? Where's the... <sighs> You know, I we we heard Bill talk to Katie and say that you know he he's no longer worried about his sons. And I'm just like, really? Oh, really? Hmm. And he says that maybe they'll have a double wedding. And I'm just like, I've seen you, Bill, at Liam's house. You know, you guys were um, drinking, talking, having a good time. Okay, I've seen you with Steffi, Liam, and Katie. Y'all had a, a, a double uh, kind, double day kind of thing. And I've never seen you with Wyatt and Ivy. So you don't know how Ivy and Wyatt are doing. Okay, you, you don't invest in Wyatt. So I'm just like hearing him say that I don't worry about my boys. No, you don't worry about Liam no more. You don't worry about Wyatt getting involved in Liam's relationship. That's it. That's, okay, bye. Okay, I'm done with them. Um, then we got Quinn and and Thomas. Okay, uh, I kind of liked it. For some reason, I was just like, ooh. Deacon. Careful. Because, I mean, Thomas Forrester is walking around your wife. And I, so, I so, for some reason, I kind of like Thomas and Quinn and their conversation. And, like, they got something. I'm just like, mm, well, Quinn is too old for you, Thomas. But at least, I mean, I know she could handle him. Like, the, 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 she could handle him. Like, handle him. But, okay. Um, so, uh, Quinn is telling Thomas that he, she thinks that Wyatt is better. Is the better man. Like, he's... Stephanie needs some Wyatt, basically. And that uh, Liam ain't really a man. And he needs to go back to Ivy. Like, or just not not really, Liam doesn't need to go back to Ivy, but Liam needs to not be with Steffi, basically. And Thomas is just like, well, maybe you're going to get your wish. Who knows? You know? And I'm just like, Thomas, I remember you telling Wyatt that he does not deserve a woman like Ivy. So does that mean that he deserves a woman like Steffi? Or Steffi deserves, like... You know? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, now let's get to the interesting, interesting part. Ooh. Okay. So, um, Ivy and Wyatt are kissing, okay? Like, she's, um, dressed in white, okay, with a bun. She's super, like, I'm in love with white now. She has no flashbacks of Thomas. Suddenly, she forgot about Thomas. She is no longer mesmerized. Um, they are kissing and she's just thinking about him and how much she loves him and she wants him. Thomas gets in. Okay, well, Thomas had a conversation with Steffi and Steffi told him that, she, like, she's going to need to talk to Wyatt and tell him what's been going on behind his back. Because this is so important to her. You know? She has Wyatt's back like that. Um, so... Thomas told 
told her like you know what that's none of your business and I told you in confidence uh-huh that was a secret honey okay I told you about the bet I told you about everything that I was doing and I'm your brother you need to be loyal to me and don't betray me as if it was like I don't give a damn I will betray you because I just feel like Wyatt needs to know he deserves to know the truth so Thomas went to see Ivy who's busy kissing her boyfriend and um Ivy was like oh Thomas and Wyatt was like mm -hmm, of course you had to interrupt that moment and Thomas said you know um I need to be talking to Ivy alone we need a private conversation honey and um I was just like me and my boyfriend we don't have any secrets if you want to talk to me you can talk to me in front of my boyfriend because I have no secrets and I was just like boo boo like just stop two nights ago you had Thomas tongue all the way down your throat so you need to just calm down with the we don't have any secrets okay do you know who you're talking to yeah Thomas Forrester the one you were kissing not long not long ago so you need to calm down we don't have any secrets okay and then she leaves the two of them alone and I'm just like Ivy come on I was just like girl you lost you really lost um she went to see Steffi I think she told her about a meeting or something and Steffi was just like come on in boo boo come on in girl we need to talk we need to chit chat Ivy closes the door I was like good girl good girl close the door because Pam is near honey and you don't want her to hear that one <laughs> no um Steffi tells her, you know what, I know the truth, okay, I heard your conversation with Thomas, and I confronted him, and he told me the truth, so I know you kissed Thomas one time, and then you guys made out, you cheated on Wyatt, you were unfaithful, and I was just like, whoa, those big words, I don't remember those words being used <laughs> when Liam was cheating on Hope, or when Liam was cheating on Steffi, I was just like, damn, those words, um, and I was just like, I feel so bad about this. I told Thomas that it was over. We're never going to be together. It's done. I don't want him. I want my Wyatt, boo-boo. I love him. I love my man. And Steph is just like, I don't really care. You're going to need to tell him the truth or I'm going to tell him. Uh-huh. And I'm going to enjoy doing that. Well, I mean, I'm going to be sad and feel bad. But, I mean, if you leave me no choice, I will have to do that. I really don't want to. So you need to tell him. But I really want to know. Uh, so um, Ivy's just like, you know what? You're so right. Because she had got no choice but to tell Wyatt at this point. Because Steffi is so ready to tell. So she's like, yeah, I'm going to tell him. But it's I'm going to be the one telling him. So Steffi, you need to just sh sh keep your mouth shut, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Steffi then talks to, um, well, that, that happened kind of before that scene, though. But Steffi had a conversation with Liam, and she told him that, you know what? Ivy's being unfaithful. She's cheating on Wyatt. They made out. Like, when you hear cheating, you kind of feel like they had sex. And I think that, that that's what she wanted to do. That's why she keeps on using cheating, cheating, unfaithful. Because she really wants them to believe that something else happened. Like, she wants to, you know, play with their minds. Because, I, I, seriously, when, whenever those things happen, whenever somebody kisses somebody else and they are in a relationship, nobody uses the C word, cheating. I'm just like, okay. Um, so, yeah, Steph is just like, she is cheating on Wyatt. We need to do something. And Liam's just like, you know, we're going to stay out of this because this is none of our business. And no, we're not telling Wyatt. That's like, I don't want to get involved. And please don't put yourself in the middle of that ish. Okay? You don't want to be in the middle. Please. But Steph is just Steffy, right? So, um, Ivy's had the house. She changed her clothes. She's like, okay, I'm a, I'm at White's place. I'm gonna 
put a, a relaxing, uh, it's going to be a relaxing environment, and we're going to be chilling, I, where's the wine, because he's going to need some wine, because damn, I'm about to crush his world, and um, so she's at Wyatt's place, meanwhile, uh, we have Steffi working on some stuff, uh, Wyatt's just like, you know what, here's the things I've been working on, I'm gonna be going home right now, because I need to see Ivy, it's a special night tonight, yay, 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 and Steffi's just like, oh, okay, what makes you think that Ivy is not cheating on you. What makes you think that Steffi wouldn't, uh, Steffi, Ivy wouldn't do, wouldn't cheat, you know, wouldn't get involved with Thomas, yada, yada. And Tom, Thomas, Wyatt was just like, no, she wouldn't do that. She's trustworthy. She's a loyal person. Like, she respects herself and me. And I was just like, oh, well. <sighs> Child, you're about to, whoo, whoo. <laughs> Wyatt, do you want a chair? Because, Steffi is about to just boop, screw with your world, okay? She's about to pop your bottle, like pop, okay? Pop your bubble, like she's gonna pop, 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 okay? So, um, Steffi's just like, you know what? I like you need to just realize that you like you need to talk to your girlfriend, basically. Like you need to have a girl a conversation with her, like really. And Wyatt was about to leave, but once she, she said that, he was like, okay, wh what are you implying? Like, what are you trying to say? Like, what is this supposed to mean? Like, come on, girl, tell me. And Steffi was like, I really wanted Ivy to tell you this. I just, I didn't want to be the one telling you that. But I guess I have to, so let me stand up. Um, Ivy was unfaithful, okay? She's been cheating on you with my brother, Thomas. Wyatt's reaction was, girl, I am so disappointed in you. Okay, I'm so disappointed. I'm, I see through you. I know what you're doing. You're trying to mess me up. Okay, you're trying to break uh, Ivy and I. And it's not going to work, baby. It's not going to work. I have your back. You should have mine. But instead, you're trying to destroy Ivy. And in the process, you, you're you destroying my relationship. I ain't going to let you do that. No, no, no. And Steffi was like, a, a boy, I am telling you the truth. Okay, I confronted... Um, Thomas, it, it really happened, and I know you feel like it's Thomas trying to mess with y'all, but it's, he's telling the truth, okay, and Ivy feels guilty, you know, so why was it like, what the hell just happened, what, what, I left for one night, and this happened, <gasps> Thank you for telling me the truth, Steph, because I know you have my back and you know I have yours. But let me go check that. Mm-hmm. Bye. Got to go. So, Ivy's just like, okay. 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 I gotta do this. She talked to Liam. I don't know why she texted Liam. She was like, come over here, boo, boo I need to talk to you. Because I was just like, but you don't need him. And why get, get him involved? Because... I mean, that's family right there, and you're going to put Liam in an awkward position. And I'm like, Ivy, what are you doing? Have your own friend to talk to, okay? But she called him, she texted him, and he came, and he was like, I know you're a good person, and you made a mistake, and I thought you were the right girl for Wyatt, but... And Ivy was like, I'm still the right girl for him. Like, I am the one. Like, I am still the one. And what, Liam was like, yeah, well we will see <laughs> and I feel like Liam was trying to um, play Wyatt's role in a way he was trying to question Ivy so she would know what to expect from Wyatt because like Liam's questions were exactly Wyatt's questions okay like Liam said um, why Thomas what's why are you attracted to Thomas? How did this happen? All those questions were Wyatt's questions, okay? Hey. And, um, Liam was just like, you know, you're gonna, do you want me to stay? And I was like, Liam, you should not offer because then you're gonna be in the middle and you're gonna be like, oh, 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 oh. And then your brother's gonna be like, you knew? 
And then you're going to be like, um, well, sort of, but I mean, uh. And again, I just feel like Steffi shouldn't have gotten involved in this. Like, stay away because now you're in the middle, but you're putting your soon to be husband, your fiance, in the middle too. And he doesn't want, like, he doesn't want to be there because he's damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. Like, like if he does tell his brother that, hey, I be cheated on you, then. I'm just gonna be like, that's none of your business. You should have let me do that. And then if he doesn't tell Wyatt anything, then Wyatt is gonna be like, you're my brother, like you're supposed to have my back. So Stephanie needed to stay out of this, and I don't understand why she wanted to be involved. Actually, I do. That's Steffi. It was like I so agreed with what Ivy said at the end of of the episode. Well, not the end of the episode. Like, uh, uh. Anyways. Let me not just get Okay, so um what then happened? Liam left. Why came in? He sat down. Okay, well actually he he took a glass of wine. He drank it all like he was like Let's go. I'm ready to listen to you, boo boo. Come on, give me your excuse. I love you. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Like, I'm ready for that bull. Like, let's go. Ivy doesn't know, like, that he knows, okay? So she's sitting down. She's like, do you want to chill? Do you want to relax? Like, oh, okay. I guess we're doing this right now. Well, I love you, you know, and you told me that you wouldn't give up on me, and I need this to be true right now. I really do need to you to mean it. And why it was like I meant it, okay? And our relationship was based on honesty, honesty, trust. I mean, and like she never really could say, she never had the time to say, well, I. I meet out with Thomas because he was like with Thomas how dare you do this to me with Thomas it's like and she didn't realize that somebody told him until he said well thankfully Steffi told me and I was like wait a minute wait a minute what don't you see that she's trying to break us up and I was like I I agree a little bit, but at the same time, boo-boo, you did cheat, okay? You did made out with Thomas, and you know this is, like, the one guy you couldn't cheat with him. Like, there's two, three guys that you shouldn't cheat with him. Like, I mean, you shouldn't cheat at all. But, um, Liam, Thomas, and Bill. Like, don't touch those dudes. Like, this is just... I was just like, when you pick Thomas... And he then said, like, I was so sure of you, okay? I was not even worried. I was like, boy, you were worried, okay? You've always been worried. It's just that you you tried to convince yourself that there was nothing going on. But you just sort of knew, okay? That's why you kept on talking to Thomas and saying, like, you need to stop. You need to stop. And I love how Thomas talks to him and just looks at him like he's nothing, okay? Like, Thomas, like, uh, put his hand on his shoulder like boo boo you so small you so tiny you're just a baby like you're too short for me you can't do it okay stay in your place like i don't oh thomas and him like sorry Wyatt, but you no competition yeah but um going back to them um ivy was just like don't you see that Steffi is self-serving? She doesn't like me. And she's doing this to hurt me. And I totally agree. Because there's no reason for Steffi to get involved. And I mean, if Steffi really wanted to help Wyatt and do what's right. Because she has a conscience and she has a heart. And she's a softy. Then she would have told Wyatt about the bet. A long time ago. She would have told about that kiss. Why are you waiting for it to like go further? Because you really want to have a case. That's what's going on. Because you would have. like the, If you really cared about Wyatt. You would have tried to um, stop things. Right? And I'm meaning by stop things. I mean. 
what I'm trying to say here is that she should have told Ivy about the bed and she should have been at the Forrester house too like I mean like she should be one she should want to protect her brother at this point because what's going on is she's alone in that house with Thomas and Thomas has a bet and what if he starts harassing her and she's pushing him away and she's like feeling uncomfortable and she's scared in that house what happens if I was just like you knew you know what I need to sue him or I need to get him arrested I need to call the police because he's he's a I feel like he might just be about to hurt me yes Steffi knows her brother that maybe he wouldn't rape a woman well we don't know that because we've seen some weird things with him and Caroline okay but as a sister you're supposed to want to protect your brother if you don't care about the other cousin because clearly she doesn't care about Ivy that that yeah I mean so I, I th there's that I don't understand why she didn't tell uh, Wyatt about the bet instead of just calling him and say well how about you text Ivy good night gain some brownie points what Tell him about the bet. Tell Ivy about the bet. So she might just rethink um, staying at the Forrester house. So she might just be like, you know, I need to go. Like, <sighs> no. So, so, so I, I don't believe in Steffi, like, having a heart and wanting to help Wyatt. And suddenly she cares about Wyatt so much. Like, that's not her style. She does things for herself. That's one thing I do love about her. She just, she, she's just like, I'm going to do what's good for me. But, let's be honest here. She did not look out for her brother. She actually betrayed her brother to hurt Ivy because that was what she wanted to do she did not do anything to protect or help Wyatt I uh, seriously I question her motives I do I really do so what we get afterwards is Ivy um, um, going back to Forrester Creations to confront Steffi they at the where are they at the back I'm guessing I don't know there's somewhere and there's um problems okay with there's some stuff going on some fire started started and like they're trying to get that under control so obviously Steffi and she's like bitch you couldn't wait could you you couldn't wait and prior to that scene we had uh, Liam and Steffi Steffi told Liam you know what I told him the Ivy. And Liam was like, what? What? What for? And Steffi was just like, I had no choice. Liam told her, and I loved it. No, you had a choice. You just, you, you didn't, you didn't want to let Ivy tell her story. You didn't want her, you didn't give her the chance to tell the truth. That's basically what happened. And I totally agree. You didn't even leave the girl 24 hours to tell her boyfriend that she's cheating I mean I'm not even sure if five hours went by so <laughs> I'm just like why couldn't you wait and why are you so in a hurry why do you want to get involved the brother is telling you Shh, Liam is telling you don't get involved and that's his brother I'm sorry that's not your brother white is not your brother okay that's Liam's brother and he's telling you do not say a word then you have your cousin granted you don't like her she hurt your feelings okay she did some effed up things to you I get it you don't like her but you guys were starting to get along why risk that why throw it away because you don't really care about that B and you really want to get your revenge you didn't get your revenge did ya because she went to grandpa she went to uncle Eric okay to save her butt so you didn't she didn't get the consequences right so that was your revenge and while trying to get at her you kind of forgot about your brother who you're supposed to be loyal to okay you expect everybody to be Ray Charles to your bullshit. Okay? Everybody. 
But when it's you and your turn to be Ray Charles to their bullshit, you're like, no, I can't do this. I have a conscience. Like, I think about other people and I have a big heart. Really? Because I remember Thomas being by your side and going to Ivy and saying, like, you need to shut up. Okay, do not blackmail my sister. Do not go to the police. Destroy the evidence, boo. Please do. And I remember um, the thing with the, 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 the who's going to be the face of Forrester thing. And he was like, maybe Ivy should be the face because he was trying to protect you. But you still blamed him. You still, we were mad at him. You were like, oh, you're supposed to be loyal to me. And that was over some modeling job. While you were on top, you were president. And you still are president, by the way. So what was the issue? Oh, well, you betrayed me. You're supposed to be loyal to me. You're supposed to be on my side no matter what. Okay? He was on your side, but he was doing a good... He, he, made sure, he didn't want to make a bad business move. Plus, a bad move for you and your freedom because he wanted you to stay free even though you needed to go to the police and tell the truth you were innocent there was nothing to lose but you were like no 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 and talking about honesty honey honesty have you told Thorne about how his daughter died oh no no we're not gonna be honest about that no 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 shh shh let's keep it a secret Right? And Ivy, seriously, she should have been telling the truth because she wouldn't have been in that situation. Regardless. <sighs> so Ivy confronted Steffi. Steffi was trying to get away, but I was like, uh, no, you got yourself involved. And you and what's the craziest part is that she said, uh, Ivy, you need to be responsible, okay? Exactly. That's her responsibility to tell her boyfriend what's been going on, not yours. Like, what are you talking about? And then she tries to leave again, and she's um, she went, to, she went to that dangerous place. The the, I, I don't really. The agent, the guy told her like the electrician told her like, don't get there, stay away from that place. It's very dangerous. But yet she decides to go there for some reason. I know it's a soap. They just needed her to go there, but ugh. and then. They kind of fought. She, she, Ivy kind of took her arm. And Steffi was like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay, don't overdo it. Okay. I do understand that now you're like, that's not my friend. She needs to keep her hands to herself. I understand that. But you were doing a little bit too much. Like, calm down. Like, that's still your cousin. Like, she's not going to hit you. Hit you. Like, it's Ivy. Like, she doesn't know how to beat up people. <laughs> sadly so they fought and she was just like acting like i'm not listening to you ivy and she was just i don't know texting with her phone she's like i don't care about you ivy i'm gonna look at my instagram and i was like bitch she took the phone who toss it i was like yes ivy boss up on her then um Steffi went up the stairs and like close to like I was like why are you trying to get your phone now wait for it like no don't do it so they went upstairs I was trying to talk to her no bitch like you did this to me you just want to hurt me next thing you know Steffi pushed her and Ivy got electrocuted electrocuted yep so, of course, she's going to stay alive. I mean, they wouldn't kill Ivy and Allie. Um, so, again, we have that storyline where people are going to be like, is Steffi guilty or innocent? I, I can't believe we're going back there because the last storyline, okay, the original one with Allie, they did they did that storyline wrong. It was just not done the right way. So I'm just like, why are you trying to, to do this again? And you're not tying no loose hands. And I'm just like, Ugh. but either way, that's what happened on BNB, y'all. Rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys very soon.
uh, like me on Facebook. It's Suari on Rose. A lot of changes right now. Okay, my uh, my YouTube channel is now Suari on Rose. Yeah, it's just I'm making changes, new stuff. It's gonna be a new year, new things. I I got yeah, I gotta move. Okay, evolve. Yes. Um. So yeah. See you guys very soon. Okay. Bye-bye.